humans and non-humans alike and good whatever applies to you and today we are starting Vampire, which actually may be a horrible idea considering it's um well basically we're currently in a pandemic right now and this ta game takes place <laughs> during the 1912 spanish flu and in all honesty i was torn what to do uh, to actually do a let's play of this because well it's kind of morbid <laughs> to do these things at the same time. But then I, when the pandemic, then I realized when the pandemic had just started, one of the most popular movies on Netflix was Contagion, so y'all already morbid fuck, so you love this shit. And you know, it's a good comparison. Wear your damn masks and the world will look like this. Wear your damn masks, stay six feet apart. Uh, 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 we'll do normal, right? Yeah, we'll do normal. I did normal last time, but I don't feel like trying it on hard. And story, that would probably just be boring. Anyway, uh, as you saw from the safe slot above, I have played this already. That's why I wanted to do a let's play of it, because I played it and I was like, I should probably do a let's play of this. Twelve teams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? But lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Once again, folks, wear your masks. Stay six feet apart. Folks, 
Nineteen twelve Spanish flu did actually happen, and its numbers were hard, and its death count was horrible, and they had to underreport it because World War One was going on, and they didn't want the mass demoralization of everybody at home dying too. Do the right thing. You don't want mass graves. All right, now that that spiel's over, let's go back to playing the game. Uh, you had must have had one hell of a night to be waking up in a mass grave. <laughs> How many drinks does that take? A hundred or two hundred? Why? Well, I, I imagine by a hundred you probably die of alcohol poisoning. What oh, music? So thirsty. in a lot more blood. I mean, I was... It's I mean, it should have been just like, well, I mean... No! Please, a moment, let me explain! Maybe don't try to ask an explanation somebody with a gun. These patrols are after me. Look me. It's on no, no, don't shoot. Again. This is a nightmare. They just say you kill somebody. They're they're I opening fire. They're here. not gonna wait for an explanation. This can't be happening. Over there. There's one of them. No, please stop. I mean you no harm. Stop. Well, yeah, again, you can't really have you have somebody throw. What's going on? They don't mean shit, just run! Run, man, run! Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? Shit, where'd it go? Machete! No, I can defend myself. Yes, machete. Who are you? The best self-defense and utility Stay weapon back. available. Sorry, but you left me no choice. Now you don't have to kill me, you know. Who are you? Yeah, just leave Stupid me alone. Beast. Okay, when there are guards up like that, if you hit, they'll parry, so don't hit them. Sorry! Hey, you can't pick up anything yet. That's a shame. Lovely foundry here. 
And the target tutorial section. Good set. Good way to do a tutorial too. It's actually pretty important. And, you know, it makes sense. What do you want? You know, it fits in well. Not a lot of games. Some games don't have it fit in well. They just, you know, usually have a separate location tutorial. And, okay. But here it's like, oh, that fits. Sorry. Hey, people are trying to kill me. I just woke up in a mass grave. I found a machete. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Please. <laughs> I had a bullet. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Ah, ah, what in God's sake! I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, ah, ah. Now you know. Uh, uh, sun bad. Don't, don't go in sunlight. Well, except it's sun. actually not really that much Looks of an like issue. It's burning me to the bone. Since time doesn't really progress in the game unless you rest, so you don't actually ever have to worry about sunlight. It's probably a. Eh. I need to find I say somewhere it's to failing, hide. But it, eh, kind of. Let me go. It's, it's a missed opportunity, I'd say, to add a bit more intricacy. And that shit hurts. Don't get hit by that. It's fire. Also, be a bit annoying. Judge. I need to find shelter. I honestly, wish ga more games that let me just pick up weapons as I run because I'd love to just rob him of the flaming crossbow bolts. It's not like holding a crossbow is gonna hurt me. Give me the damn crossbow! Is anybody there? Go, Jonathan. The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Yay! Safety. People aren't trying to murder me, or they don't know where I am. I just had to do a quick check to make sure it was actually recording. I need to have a bad habit of that occasionally. Just look at my. Oh, uh. Oh, was it the Dungeons 2 Let's Play? That ha that happened a lot. Things like that are why par paranoid about. No, oh, hey, hey, no, open up details. There you go. Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. A handsome guy. Real good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted and I saw its own holy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. It cut its head off to finally destroy it. We tried the same test with fire. The bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemy by Carl Eldridge, Pridwood and Leader. Which is actually kind of a neat addition, because normally it's just sunlight burst into flames. Either instantly touching the sunlight, or the part of you starts to burn, and then eventually it burns away for good. Anyway, nice to see some differences. Sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Well, I mean, you whipped out a throw all. Well, I mean, not on your own. You were hungry, delirious, and again just crawled out from a mass grave. 
I mean, I guess it could be argued that you weren't in your right mind at the time. Didn't know consequences, you know, right and wrongs. It was completely delirious. human? I don't know. Kind of hard to tell with that jacked up face. Ah, pocket watches. This one's dressed up fancy. I like pocket watches. Let's run through his pockets. Not a big fan of In the watches. dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy to share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are. Undertakers? <laughs> nah, give him an Eve. Ah! Dead. Could you That's try impossible. now robbing people's corpses? I mean, they occasionally might wake back up. Who knows? Just recently on the news, they found someone who was declared dead, but still alive after she was given to the funeral home. Yeah. Also, why I'm not on the organ donor list. It's rare, but it could happen. I'm alive, don't cut open my stomachs. Yeah, mirror. Wait, can you see yourself in the mirror? You can! Yay! a common thing in vampire things that they're not seen in the mirror. But I think that actually comes from the fact that they're supposed to be weak to silver, or supernatural creatures are weak to silver, and mirrors used to be like backed with silver. For the Red Queen that and that's why the reflections couldn't be seen. But, so technically, vampires in modern times should be able to see themselves in the mirror as Who no longer that? silver. Who's that? Are you referring to me? No! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still yeah, have well. so much left that needs doing. That's a lot of people. Well, hey, got a second chance, albeit at the expense of a dead sister and people trying to murder you and no longer being able to ever go out in sunlight again. Well, I mean, you can go out, but you, <laughs> you wouldn't want to. Yay, a gun. Guns are always good. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. I don't know. It sounds pretty. It's easy. Your point? You pull a trigger, somebody died. Heal somebody. <laughs> Several hours of surgery later. Fifteenth October. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig up a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine.
16th October. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they're digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Dames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made her soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills in the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now. It makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st October. Now with the mechanical shovel, I've stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. There's only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago. But Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She dumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her. She smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. And I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd October. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in. But I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. And not be long. Break her will it do it. 24th October. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney, just panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she didn't react. I cut up a little sugar. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. Yep, dude blew his brains out after that. Was obvious. Now, I guess we'll go sleep in the dead couple's house next to the dead guy, because that's appropriate. You want me to sing you a lullaby as you sleep with the sound of decaying... This makes no sense. ...with the smell of decaying None of flesh? No sense at all. At least move the body! Come on, man! That's it. <laughs> At least move the body! So be it. I guess he was aiming for his heart. Rational thinking only. And they make you pull the trigger! <laughs> Funnily enough, triangle is also the button used to fire guns. Ain't gonna do shit. <sighs> Although it will dirty the bed. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real.
Potion. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Nice if I could upgrade something else, but I can't. Anyway, on this character, we will only be upgrading these. These four right here. At least that's my goal. There's the 600. Of course, they're not going to let me. <laughs> Why can't you let me upgrade the way I want to? And there goes everything. <laughs> you took all of my experience points, you bastard. What? Yeah, I guess the, the sound of the gunshot attracted. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Where is it? It's close. Well, they're back. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. And unfortunately, you used the last bullet on yourself, so this, I can't just shoot him through the damn wood. Here's the leech. Here! And now you see one of the more frustrating mechanics of the game. The vampiric dash. My head's spinning. Oh, I'm the coward for not wanting to murder you. <laughs> Asshole. Nope, oh, we got another one. Yay, yeah, steak. See? And then you can switch it with the uh, directional buttons. Still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Oh. Shit. Die, Vermin! And then you fight stun people. And you use the blood the strength to attack. A strength I never knew I had. So that's because you didn't. You're a vampire now, baby. The blood. The blood is life. The blood. And if you look, you can sneak up on people with a quick button. Get a quick snack in. of my body. Yep. Big guy. Comes a shotgun. And also some type of giant stabbing. You know, Assassin's Creed thing on the arm. And the thing on the top right of his that's his health bar is the stun bar. And the thing on the top right of his resistance is the more red it is, the stronger he has a resistance. So he's highly resistant to gunfire, slightly resi somewhat resistant to melee attacks, and zero resistance to blood or shadow attacks. My strength, my reflexes, I'm not human anymore. Well, I think the bullet to the chest should have made you figure that one out. 
Uh, you know, you're confused. Southwark Bridge, district status stable. And all that stuff will be explained later. Now though, we go this way. Join the ranks, your king and country need you. Join the blank and hell blank. King and country need you. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front. Only you can prevent wars. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Okay, and going thinning means you didn't pick that up. And those red little dots on the ground, those are rats. You can eat this those to gain blood. Despicable. You're vampires, so you don't have to worry about the many, many many diseases you'd get from eating a rat from the 1912s in London. The dizziness from the jump. I can... And while those loading screens no, pop up sort of randomly, they're not that frequent, so it's okay. I guess. Anyway. Anyway, I say the dash is one of the most frustrating things because there's very specific places you can do the dash at. Which doesn't make sense since in the cutscenes and stuff that go on later on in the game, everyone's you you're dashing everywhere. And it's fucking annoying that you can't do that because <laughs> there are places that you could I'm get to otherwise, this. which I guess is why they don't do it, you know? It could go through places a lot what more easily London than you could have just... to say to me. I mean, if it was like, um, I've Dishonored, so questions a game that also it. takes place during an uh, epidemic, if it was like the Blink ability, where you could control where it goes and everything, then it'd be great. I'd be thrilled. That it doesn't work Another like that, unfortunately. Corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? I know you want blood, but try not to lick the corpse or anything. I don't know how disease immune you are exactly. The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh. Blood. The smell is so Vampiric strong. senses. This does is, as you can imagine, shows you where the blood is. You know, where the hearts are beating and all of that. Which is very nice. But you don't want to walk around with Something it. Something dire must have come about. Because, hey, you know, it doesn't look nice. Well, it actually does kind of look really nice just having all the dark here. But anyway. The main point is, it also kind of makes it There's more no difficult to find items to pick up. Because the uh, little white glow that items you can pick up have isn't as noticeable. If you have this on all the time, so... It, it's very easy to miss items with this on. But you get a bunch of blood trails, so... Can I just look around a bit? Come on. The game doesn't want to let me look around. They're so going this where way. Where has everyone gone? So where over the rainbow. According to the blood way patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Get a 
hideout. Hideouts, you just found a new hideout. Here you can spend your XP while resting or craft items at the workbench. This is your bullet stash. This is where extra bullets you pick up go. This is your crafting bench. Here you can make medicines and upgrade your weapons. You definitely want to upgrade your weapons. However, you don't want to put anything into the machete. Because normal weapons have five levels. So you don't want to do anything with the used stick or the machete. And then there's the where you can recycle items. For use in other things. Like this. Check something. And yep, this is the map. London. Currently in the docks. There's the parts of London where loud in. Uh what was I looking for? Alright, you know you can't see it there. Alright, we're gonna take a nap. I'm tired, and you know what? Hanging out in abandoned buildings is just so much fun. Anyway. So from now on, we are going to upgrade body condition, physical prowess, fast regeneration, and hard biting. And nothing else. You meant this makes gives you more health. This more stamina. This makes those bite moves hit harder, and this increases the amount of health you get when you bite somebody. It is very important, as we won't be putting any extra points into the blood or big thirst, so we won't have a lot of blood to work with. Which would be this, and the reason why we don't want to upgrade these is because they cost a fuck ton to upgrade. I mean, look at this. Damn! The following night. Yeah, time only really progresses when you rest, or when the game forces you to rest, I guess. Now remember that. Okay, sometimes there's stuff in here. Nothing. Alright. Follow the killer's trail. Whee! And here you can casually see a bit of information about anyone you encounter that lives in a district. At last, a little life. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. Yeah, um, I wouldn't want to talk to him either. Look at this. No, no, no. Seriously, though. Look, take a look. There is. You are working in a bar at night in a seedy part of London during an epidemic. A person comes in, <coughs> pale skin, weird looking eyes. Bullet holes in the shirt and covered in blood. Screw not wanting to talk with you. I want you out of the building. I want to lock the doors. <laughs> what is this place? Not this see you again. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. And there's apparently murders in the neighborhood! And a dude covered in blood walks in. She is way too calm for this situation. 
What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Call the constable. Some Call Scotland Yard. Do something. The Damn. sewer dog. What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not Again. Fighter. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, she I is ridiculously me. calm for this situation. I'll leave then. Thank you. Hello, are you the town Good evening, drunk? sir. I wondered if I could ask oh, for you your are help. Definitely wow, the town you drunk. look like you need a drink. Yes. Several. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... Maybe it's it's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. How is that helpful? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Um, yeah, sure, I guess. What's going on around here? Why well, you'd it's want like to everybody is hiding. Me. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? Ah, good to have you those around. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. And you sound like you need even more drinks than you've already had. I'll leave you to your bottle then. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Not thirsty for drink, but thirsty for blood. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Smart man. Anyway, seriously. Okay, the drunk is understandable. He's fucking sauced out of his mind. But the bartender... Uh, the bartender... That's just... You are way too calm, people. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Back. Long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? About these murders? I'm not the one doing them. I'm just covered in blood about for random murders. reasons. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Sure about that? Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, uh, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Well, that sucks. Let me get up here then. All right, right. I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. 
It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Who is he? Who is this man? Who the fuck sleeps over what at night in this place? Like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Anyway, someone at least acknowledges slightly that there's a man walk covered in blood walking around is not normal. Regardless of how bad the neighborhood got. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Now see, if you had left, or stayed... Slowly, they might vampire! Who are you? Oh, God, I mean I you Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. Well, I guess crosses work. <sighs> oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. Well, by that interaction, you can infer a few things. One, this guy definitely knows about vampires. Two, he knows you're a vampire. Three, he's at least slightly prepared for situations. And who might you be? Well, you ask, so... Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Oh, come on! You just brought it up! You know, I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells Very me not to clearly. trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. As long as it's what have mutual. you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. Isn't that true everywhere? How different? I mean, think about it. A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be Plenty brought of to ground to hide, and quickly. A lot of water to dump bodies. Usually some type of smuggling going on because, you know, it's the docks. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. Nope. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. 
We are both chasing the same shadow. And uh, I'm not an asshole, so we're going to continue. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking gonna for. At least wait until this conversation ends. You then should let me handle episode. this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. Questions? Kill him? I... Beat him up and lock him in a basement that. or something? Who knows? I don't hmm. care. I don't know right I now. I only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Why the hell are there armed people in the streets randomly attacking folks? Alright. That is all the time we have for this episode. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like and want to subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else has I put up there. So bye, humans and not humans alike, and good whatever applies to you. And he's not well. He's suffering from fatigue.